what is up guys average gear reviewer here back again with another quick little unboxing for you and i don't know if you guys caught my post the other day but i was talking about um, a really cool concept knife that i found on sale and it was actually like 50 percent off and you know i'm always looking for good deals on stuff but you know sometimes you just find one and you're like ah, it seems pretty nice for the money and it uh, seems like a really good deal you know i thought 50 percent off uh, how can you beat that and then I started doing a little research into the knife and uh, found out that I had found something really cool. Welcome to Average Gear Review, where the best gear is the gear you have on. So in case you guys did miss that post, uh, the knife I'm talking about actually is this one. And it is the Concept Integra. If you're not familiar with this knife, it was based on a custom knife from JK Knives. And actually, it looks really, really cool, and I cannot wait to get into this box. So uh, we're here at the bench. Let's take a little top-down view, and we'll get into it. You probably thought I forgot, but I never forget you guys. As always, thank you for stopping by to watch one of my little videos. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first video, thanks so much for stopping by. If you're a returning viewer, Hey, great to see you again. I hope everybody is doing well. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this box right here. Oh. Okay, we're over here at the top down view. And, you know, I got to say, guys, this is the uh, first concept knife that I, I, I've ever gotten a hold of. So this is a really something interesting for me. But this is the uh, Integra. 3.63 inch blade designed by JK Knives. You can see right there on the box it uh, black stone washed in 154 cm and a black G10. You know, for the 154 cm steel and the G10 scales, just look like a really good deal. Um, and this concept box actually a really nice unboxing experience here. Uh, like I said, never unboxed one of these before, so I wasn't really sure what to expect. But um, it looks like you do get a nice cleaning cloth there. And I'm assuming some sort of instructions. No, it's all blank. Oh, my. What are, what are they doing? Okay, some warranty information. Any, that's an important one. I, you got to look at on all these guys. It's got, and they're all going to say it. Any disassembly and modification will void the warranty. So if you take it apart, you're on your own, basically. <laughs> hey, look, there's some troll candy. All right. But yeah, super nice little box. The way it kind of nests in there. It's a, a nice unboxing experience. And this pouch is really cool i've never gotten a knife that came with a pouch like this this is so fancy i feel fancy guys am i, am I getting fancy i feel like i'm getting fancy okay here it is the concept integra and it's a big boy it's a big boy guys fairly long handle there I like it. it's a nice, nice G10 scales. Got full steel liners there, I believe. I have to look and see what this backspacer is. I'm not really sure if that's, I believe it's a G10 backspacer, but don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. And that is something I noticed um, on another interviewer. I saw where they were talking about it in the um, JK Knives had a captive pivot where this one actually has uh, pivots on both sides and uh seems to have a pretty nice little clip on it um looks good there as you can see i haven't touched this at all and it's perfectly centered right out of the box so you love to see that nice stone wash finish to the clip and it's got just a very um basic rectangular kind of design to it there's not a you know it does have the uh, chamfering here on the edges it's beveled um, but really it's sort of a boxy, boxy shaped blade, very minimalist looking when it's closed. All you can really see is the, uh, flipper tab there and some good jimping on the back of that. Uh, got a nested steel liner there for the liner lock. Pretty nice. Let's give it a flick. 
Oof. Okay. Well, that uh, I'm going to try that again because that is some buttery smooth action there. You'd love to see that. So I did want to, um, you know, one of the first things that struck me about the look of this knife is the blade. It just has such an interesting blade shape to it. The concept calls it a drop point it is what they call it. It's such a comment down below what you think this, what the, what you think this blade shape is. Um, is that a drop point blade? Is that a reverse tanto? What, like what, what is, what even is that? But it, it just looks so good on the knife. It looks so sleek and minimalist. Um, let me clear some of this stuff out of the way here. And uh, let's, let's take a look at some of the specifications on this one. Now it, it does have a 3.63 inch blade. Looks like you got about a 3.5 inch cutting surface there. The, I think the handles are 4.78 inches, uh, no, 4.87 inches. And so it gives it an overall length coming in at right at eight and a half inches on the dot. And uh, let's take a look at the hardware. Let's see what kind of hardware we're rocking with. I believe it's a T8 pivot and T6 body screws, but okay. So that is a... <laughs> Listen, guys, if you like the video, leave me a like down below Um, consider subscribing and, you know, channel memberships are open. So if you want to become a member of the channel and literally help me keep the lights on, I, I have the crappiest ring light in existence. So, uh, yeah, hit the link down below if you want to become a channel membership, a channel member and, and help me support, uh, help me support the channel here, get some decent gear uh, to record these videos with so that uh, I don't go crazy. But uh, yeah, let me get this light fixed. So as I was saying, it, you got a T8 pivot here. Uh, it looks like there is. I didn't plan that, guys. That actually did just go out just now. <clears throat> You'll notice it's a very minimalist design. The way that the uh, line, the liner lock is inset. The, just the overall lines of the knife. It's very modern and, and sleek looking. Very, very just minimalist and purposeful. Uh, but just executed it, it really well. I think it, it, that's just my opinion. Uh, and, and these are just my initial, initial impressions. Obviously, this is not a full review of the knife as I'm just getting my hands on it. But uh, my initial impressions are I'm very impressed with it. And, and this being my first concept, uh, you know, they've got the uh, fin rear. They've got a couple more that I've looked at and just really thought I, I would really like to get one of those. Um, these are currently selling on their website right now for $79. <clears throat> when I made the post the other day, they were half price on Amazon for $39. Bucks, and I looked at them just now to look up some information on it because I really didn't know a lot about the knife itself. And they are currently sold out. So um, I'll put a link to the concept website so that you can pick one up there if you're interested in it. For $79, I got to say, this, this is a good deal. Um, a nice nested steel liner. Looks like you got uh, almost a 50% lock up there. Uh, and that's just out of the box. So, you know, over time, those tend to, uh, the bar tends to wear in a little and you get just a little bit tighter lock up. There is no, absolutely no blade play at all on it. I mean, it is just as secure as could be. Uh, it almost feels like a fixed blade when it's open. And it's a very big knife too. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I think I got sidetracked there, but yeah, the, um, the body screws here are, um, a T6 looks like, yep. A T6. And, and you'll notice it only has one screw in the body. There's one here underneath, um, underneath the clip. And it does have come with a stone wash titanium clip. Thought that was really nice. It's got a good shape to it. Good, not too much of a ramp there. It's not too tight, um, but it feels just tight enough to where 
it would hold on to your pockets well. You do have a couple of little mushrooms growing in the shade and uh, no inset to the clip there. But um, you do have your, your lanyard, um, lanyard hole, lanyard attachment, whatever you want to call it back here. And uh, doesn't appear to be any standoffs except for just this one main backspacer back here. Um, and you can see those steel liners are, are full steel liners. So um, it's coming in a bit heavy at 4.6 ounces. You know, so it's a little over that ratio, uh, golden ratio of ounces to length of blade. It's, it, it is just a little bit over that. But um, we'll forgive it for that just for the beastliness of the size. So let's see if my ring light will last long enough for, um, let's do some quick size comparisons here. Cause I want to show you guys the size of this knife. Um, this is it compared to the Microtech MSI. You can see it is just, you know, the blade's a little bit shorter, but uh, the handle length and everything, it's really comparable to that. Um, a good comparison to me was the Kaiser Brat. It seems real close in shape. Well, not in shape, but in size. Um, it seems real close to that. And even just kind of the general aesthetic of them is real similar. Um, yeah, you could see next to like the, this out of the way, you see next to like an 80, 20.5. It is quite a bit bigger than that. It's the Spyderco Para 3. Um, again, it, it's quite a bit larger than these. So it's going to run on that larger end of the EDC spectrum. Um, here's the bug out. You can see, it just is dwarfing all these knives. Um, Another one that seemed to me to be kind of close to it in uh, comparison, but then I realized the blade on it is way longer. I thought the platinum arcade was kind of close, but it's not as close as I was thinking. It was the uh, blade length is quite a bit longer on the concept. The handle length's real, real comparable. But, um, you know, that kind of gives you just an idea of uh, the size and how it uh, sort of compares to some of the other EDC knives out there. You can see the back of the blade. It's got a thick blade stock. It's like a three millimeter thick blade. So, you know, really, really nice and thick and sturdy. And that 154 CM, you know, that, uh, just, it's just, that's going to be a formidable blade for sure. Looks like it's got some really nice edge geometry to it. Uh, trying to get a look at the grinds here. And you guys may actually be able to see it better on camera than I can. Um, it looks like the grinds are pretty good on it. Um, let's get, uh, let's do a couple of cutting tests here. I like to uh, start off with the post-it note. Just because it's a little bit thicker paper. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Can make some definitely can make some confetti with it. Okay, so I like to try some regular sheet of paper too because it's a little thinner. Oh man, hardly makes any difference. It just goes right. It just slices right through it. Oh, kind of catching a little there. It's probably operator error though. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if we get a curly cue maybe. And I told you before, guys, I, I'm not real great at this because I, I got big hands and fat fingers and I can hardly ever get a curly cue out of anything if I can. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's very sharp. Let's, uh, let's try some cardboard. Try out a little cardboard cutting with it. Yeah, it takes a little pressure because of the thickness of that blade, I think. But, uh, man, it, 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 it slices pretty good. So, yeah, out of the box, it does seem pretty sharp. Um, pretty well done there. Whatever whatever type of um, sharpening and uh, polishing they're doing over there seems to work pretty well. 
Um, you know, I got to say my overall impressions, I'm, I'm impressed if this is, you know, indicative of concepts quality, especially at their lower entry level, um, you know, less expensive type of knives. I'm uh, definitely interested in picking up another one and checking it out. But um, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you have tried out any of uh, concept stuff and um, what you think about it, particularly if um, you've tried out the actual JK knives variant of this. You know, I, I don't even know what those cost. I'm, I'm sure that they uh, are very, very expensive if they're if you can even get your hands on one anymore. I didn't really do a ton of research into that knife because uh, it wasn't really the one that I was looking at. You know, this is a, uh, a collaboration with Concept on, on that um, custom knife. And you can get these in some really, really nice variants too um, with the titanium handles and Damascus steel, all kinds of stuff. Um, go to Concept's website. I'll, I'll have a link for their website in the description down below and uh, go to their website and check them out. They've got some really, really nice variants of just this knife alone. Um, you know, I saw some on there that were, uh, I think they run about 239 for a, a much, much upgraded version of this one. Now, this one does have the G10 scales and you can see that the length and the thickness of them, it is a, a good size chunk of G10 that you got there. And the liners are nice and thick, um, you know, and they have that same stone washed look as the uh, clip does here and again uh, titanium clip there and um, yeah super nice well done this knife actually reminded me a lot of the kaiser brat when i just was first handling it because uh, the brat was one of those to me that it was um at first i just i was kind of like yeah it's all right you know it, it but then the more you handle it um, the more that you realize it's just everything is so well executed on it. And, um, and this stuff, I, I kind of get the same sense from that. Um, not quite drop shuddy. It's a little bit shake shuddy right now, but um, it, it is running on ceramic bearings. And I'm assuming that over time, that's going to loosen up a little bit, uh, you know, detent and uh, it, it will probably drop shut. Just needs a little bit of a shake right now, but it's still right out of the box. Hadn't got a whole lot of flips. Um, let's check the acoustics on it. Shh. It's got a nice sound to it. Um, not what I would call significant other friendly. This is one of those that uh, if you're in here flicking it a lot, uh, your girlfriend or wife is probably not going to like it. But, um, you know, that's, that's kind of the perils of knife flipping there. Uh, anyway, yeah. I... I I, I got to say, I really like it. I'm impressed with it. You know, my initial impressions of it, but uh, everything seems really well done. The fit and finish of everything looks really good. Um, yeah, it really makes me want to get my hands on uh, some more concepts, knives. Yeah, so. Um, but yeah, let me give you my final thoughts on it. But um, yeah, like I said before, let me know if you have any of uh, any of the concept knives, especially if you have one of these. Let me know what your experience has been with it so far. I, I'm really, really liking it so far. And and like I said before, I have to say if this is indicative of the kind of quality, you know, that you're getting out of concept, I, I'll definitely be back for another one. So, um, but yeah, it's a little bit larger. You can see um, it fits in my hand very well. Um, I do wear, you know, extra large size gloves, so I got big fat fingers, um, but it does fit my hand very well and, uh, just nicely done, nicely done. Um, nothing fancy about it really, but, uh, sort of understated and, uh, yeah, just really cool. I I'm digging it. Love to see how the blade's going to hold up. Um see how it uh, carries around for a little bit. You know, like I said, this is not a full review because it's just my first time taking a look at the knife. So uh, yeah, let me know uh, what you think about it in the comments down below. Also, if you like the video, please leave me a like down below. I, it doesn't cost you a dime and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date on the latest content that we're coming out with. Uh, we're, we're approaching a, set, a thousand subscriber mark. I'm super excited about that. And um, anyway, guys, you know, like I always say, always be caring and remember,
the best gear is the gear you have on you. Average gear reviewer, I'm out of here. Average gear review, but the best gear is the gear you have on you.